to find the oxidation number for each element in chlorine dioxide, not to be confused with ClO2 minus. That would be the chlorite ion. So ClO2, chlorine dioxide, we'll use these rules here. So we see that this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus out here. It's not an ion. And in a neutral compound, the oxidation numbers of each element is chlorine and these two oxygens. They'll all add up to zero. So we go down our list and we see oxygen here is almost always a minus two for its oxidation number with a few exceptions. So each one of these oxygens is minus two. We often think of chlorine because on the periodic table it's in group 17 as a minus one oxidation number. But in this case, it can't be minus one because these wouldn't all add up to zero. So we use the rule here for oxygen first and then in this case we ignore this rule because it comes later in our list. So we can set this up like an equation to figure out the chlorine. We can say chlorine which we don't know is x plus the minus 2 for the oxygen and we have two oxygens so that's 2. All of that needs to equal 0 because this is a neutral compound. Solve for x and x that equals plus 4. And that is the oxidation number on the chlorine in ClO2. So to recap, we know that this is a neutral compound, so everything's going to add up to zero. We found the oxygen, that's the one we know, the higher in our list here, and then we use the oxygen to figure out the oxidation number on the chlorine. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for ClO2, chlorine dioxide. Thanks for watching.